Welcome back to a 50 Cent Gaming, where they were opening up three packs of Dungeons and Dragons. Well, Forgotten Realms action. And the my Flare deck, we got that art card. An island that has some flavor text to it. I think there's three different of each BSA clans. They all have a flavor text that tells a little bit of a story. Under Dark Ballad. Has Death Touch, costs two, and a green for a bat ballast. Next one is some Dragon's Fire. As an additional cost to this spell, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand or choose a dragon you control. Dragon's Fire deals 3 damage to a target creature or planeswalker. If you reveal the dragon card or a chosen dragon as you chose or cast this spell, Dragon's Fire deals damage equal to the power of that card or creature instead. Morning's Polymorph. Cost is one and a blue for an instant until end of turn. Target creature becomes a dragon with a base power and toughness of a 4 4 and has flying. Well, bar the gate. Cost is one and two. Cost is one blue and two for an instant. Counter a target spell or planeswalker spell. Venture into the dungeon. So that's something new that we have is venturing into a dungeon we can end up having a dungeon at each start of the game and be able to go farther into it to be able to get the special effects of that reaper's talisman causes a black it's an equipment whenever a quick creature attacks it gains death touch until it of turn whenever a quick creature attacks alone defending player loses two life and you gain two life Quip cost is two. Well, the next card shows some kind of a new thing that we have with rolling dice. So we have a Lightfoot Rogue. Cost is one, and a black, for a half lean rogue. Has sneak attack. Whenever Lightfoot Rogue attacks, roll a d20. From one to two, nine, the rogue gains death touch until end of turn. Through ten through nineteen. It's plus one plus oh and gain stuff touch until turn end up turn. And if we hit a twenty or call the critical hit, it gets plus three plus o oh, gains first strike and death touch until end of turn. Put two one body. And then we have the trickster's talisman, causes one blue for an equipment, and it has invoked duplicity. The quick creature gets a plus one plus one and has whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it or sac sacrifice Trickster's Talesman. If you do, create a token copy of that creature as a two equip cost. Evolving Wilds. Tap, sacrifice, and we get to look for a basic land card and put it into play. Battlefield tapped. Hild of Hardar costs us four and a black for a creature with a circle of death. Pay five and a black, roll a d20. One through nine, the opponent loses two life. Ten through nineteen, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. And then if we hit a 20, each opponent loses 2 life, and you gain 2 life, and you create 2 treasure tokens. It has a 4-4 four, four body. Guardian of Faith. Costs 2 uh, white and 1. For a human knight, flash vigilance whenever it enters the battlefield. Any number of other target creatures you control phase out as a 3-2 body. And a foil rare. So to 
the fire giant duke costs us two red and three for our giant barbarian who has trample whenever is dealt damage venture into the damp dungeon has a 7-3 body and now we have a spider token the token has menace and reach and it's a 2-1 body all right that's the pack that's from the mind flare let's see if this guy does it a little bit better There's the art card. And it's no something that's unique about this. Some of the cards have a creature stat line that you'll be able to actually roll into your D&D campaign. And then this time we have the force that has the little flavor text on it. Dinge Water Seeker. Cost us three and a blue for a genie that has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, we get to roll a d20. One through nine gives us a sky one, ten through nineteen gives us a sky two, and a twenty gives us a sky three, and it has a three three body. Uninspected windfall is an instant speed. Cost us two red and two. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card. Draw two cards and create two treasure tokens. Improvised weaponry costs two and a red for a sorcery. Improvised weaponry does two damage to any target. And we get to create a target or treasure token. Jaded Cell Sword. Jaded Cell Sword. Costs us three and a red for a dragon warrior. When it enters the battlefield, if mana from a treasure was spent to cast it, it gains first strike and haste until end of turn. Demon Gordon's clutches costs us two and a black for a sorcery. Target opponent discards two cards, mills two cards, and loses two life. Sometimes we have to get some Divine Smite going on with all these big guys. Cost us one and a white for an instant. Target, creature, or planeswalker, and opponent's control faces out. If that permit is black, exile it instead. Drider costs us four and a black for an elf spider. Reach, and whenever Drowder deals combat damage to a player, create a 2-1 black spider creature token with menace and reach. It's a 4-3. That's where that token is from that last pack we'll be able to play into it. Spiked Pit Trap costs 1 for an artifact that has flash. Pay 5, tap it, sacrifice it. it Choose a target creature and then roll a d20. 1 through 9. The trap does 5 damage to that creature. 10 through 20, it does 5 damage to that creature, and we get to create a treasure token. Class is in. Well, if you're a barbarian with barbarian class, cost us 1 red. It's a little saga. Well, it's like a little saga. So to gain the next level, you end up having to pay it. When it first comes in, if you roll one or more dice, instead roll that dice that many times plus one and ignore the lowest row. And then level two, we pay one red and a red. One red and a colorless for level two. Whenever you roll one or more dice, target creature you control gets plus two plus oh and gains menace until end of turn. And then the other one is cost is one red and two. Creatures you control have haste. Then we got a Vaporeal Sword. Cost is one black. It's an equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus oh, and has death touch. 
Cost is five and three black until end of turn. Purportal sword gains. Whenever the equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. The equip cost is two black. And then our foil is Vampire Spawn. It costs us two and a black for a vampire. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. That's a two, three body. And then we have a Gutter Snipe. It costs us two and a red for a creature that's a Goblin Shaman. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, a Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent. Has a 2 2 body. He's been printed a few times. Alright, the humans didn't look like they're too good. Coming to the last pack, the pack of a dragon. We'll see what the dragons bring to the game. Alright, there's the art card. And it's one of those creature things, so that's a roper. Gives the stat lines and everything with it. Something neat. Now we got a forest with the flavor text. First card is a Neverwinter Dryad. It costs us one green for our Dryad. Pay two, sacrifice it. Search your library for a basic forest card. Put it on the battlefield tap and then shuffle. It has a 1 1 body. Bullet, bullet, costs us three and a green for a beast. At the beginning of your instep, if a creature died this turn, put a one one counter on. It has a three three body. And then we have the scale herbalist, costs us one and a green for a lizard druid. You may play a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's when we tap him. It costs us one and three, or its power and toughness is one and a three. Huh, the regular art for the Neverwinter Dryad. Play armor. It costs us two and a white. The equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and has ward one. Ward one is when you have to pay one extra to be able to target it. Quick cost costs us three. This ability costs one less to activate for each other equipment you control. And this is one of the characters from D&D. Bruner the Battle Hammer costs two, a red, and a white. For a legendary dwarf warrior, each creature you control gets plus two plus O for each equipment attached to it. You may pay zero rather than pay the equip cost of your first equipped ability you activate each turn has a three or five three body choose your weapon causes two and a green for an instant choose one to a weapon fighting which is double the target creatures power and toughness until end of turn or archery. This does five damage to a target creature with flying. We got a gab or a goblin cavalier. Costs us one red. It's a goblin warrior. Has haste, and whenever it becomes black, deal one damage to a target creature blocking it. Has a one-one body. Another skill herbalist. Kind of a little bit crazy mixing in the commons and uncommons. We got a hand of Vecna. Cost us three. At the beginning at the beginning of combat on your turn, equip creature or a creature you control named Vecna gets plus X plus X. Till end of turn where X is the number of cards in your hand. Equip cost is pay one life for each card in your hand. And then it also has an equip cost of two. Our foil is a knoll hunter. It costs one and a green for a knoll. Has pack tactics. Whenever 
it attacks if you attack with creatures with a total power of six or greater this combat put a plus one plus one counter on them has a two two body and then another interesting card that we got is Birthing Brights. Cost us three for an artifact. Pay four, tap it, create a 2 2 colorless shapeshifter creature token with Changeling. Changeling means that it has all the different types. Well, I hate to say it, but it seems like the Mind Flare ended up winning. Because we ended up having Dragon's Fire, and then we ended up getting a foil rare out of it. That has some kind of recognition that would go with it. What do you think? What do you think of the pack? If you're liking the stuff that we're putting out, like, comment, subscribe, and why don't you share us around? How do you end up liking this video? Let us know down in the comments below. Until next time, see you later.